Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome Super C motorhome with 4x4 and an outside kitchen. This is a 2022 Thor Magnitude model SV34. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're going to give you three things we love about the Magnitude and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's World's Only Channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome Magnitude SV34. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're hey. not Andrea. <laughs> how are you guys? You're Basil, you're yeah. our Class C specialist. Yes, yes, how are you guys doing? Good, how's it going? Basil, why are we starting on the inside? You know what, um, if we look outside, we've been trying to film, but it's been raining like crazy. So hey, we're inside, it's dry, the AC's on. Um, so we're gonna start filming here. And Basil, do you know why I called you our Class C specialist? No. You do sell more than Class C's, right? Yes. But you are very classy. Oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Basil is always the freshest person in the dealership. Basil, <laughs> thanks so much for filling in this episode. We're doing things a little different. We're starting on the inside. I'm going to do the inside, and then Basil's going to take over on the outside and show you, we're going to show you all the cool features. So Basil, let's begin right up here. Right up here, we have a nice bunk over the cab. It holds five hundred pounds and as you guys will see on the outside we have a nice front windshield right there which is awesome one thing i love about this bunk over the cab look how much height you have right here somebody can actually sit up here and um actually sit up you have your windows right there and you even have a little collapsible ladder that's so, awesome yep uh thor's doing this down with all their class c's it's very nice right over here we do have a TV right here, and it does swivel out to give you a good viewing position from the sofa. Now, right over here, we do have nice cabinetry above. Basil, if you'd like to get that cabinetry, yeah. very nice. And it's the matted look, you know. Thor's really known for their that shiny wood, where with the magnitude, they did the matted look. Right here, we have slow rise privacy shades and daytime shades. I absolutely love that. And then look at this sofa. Very nice, plush, comfortable. This does jackknife down. And then look at that, it's kind of extended out. It's a bigger jackknife, and in my opinion, a more comfortable jackknife. So the funny thing is, uh, Matt, um, yes. what I would tell you is, one of the biggest things I really love about this motorhome, um, two things, When going back to this, it's about a couple inches shy of being a queen uh, mattress. Outside. Okay, okay. So it, it holds um, two adults really comfortably. Yes. The other thing too, um, I love the fact that Thor went with the lighter shade for the uh, nightshade because it kind of matches the rest of the furniture instead of just getting that black shade. The um, feng shui. Kind of, exactly, right? Yes. There you go, there you go. So that's really nice. And then obviously going into the um, the matted cabinets. Yes. The matted cabinets are really nice because when if you're looking at homes nowadays, everyone's getting away from that high gloss look and trying to get with that, that mat, matted look. And that high gloss look is really hard to keep clean. So this is actually a really, really nice touch. Right, the one thing I always like to say about Thor, when it comes to interior innovations, they are the absolute leader in that. Right over here, we do have more cabinetry above. Speakers right there on the outside. Not on the outside, underneath. Underneath. Yep. Yes. And then Basil, do you know what this is? Art Deco. Oh, <laughs> it's Art Deco. Great job. We have a nice window right here on your campsite. Check this out. Very nice boot dinette with storage underneath there and underneath there awesome now for those of you who don't know basil is he, he hasn't been on the show lately because we haven't been to rv shows and he wasn't there at the tampa show um he was back here at the dealership but for those of you guys who don't know basil's my baseball buddy 
Bing. <laughs> That's us when uh, the Nationals played the Tampa Bay Blue Jays, not the Toronto. And then, bing! That's us at the Tampa Bay Ray games um, when they played the Nationals. Both times the Nationals won, and Basil's not a Nationals fan, so he's our good luck chart. And then this also does drop down to make a bet. And then right here as well, in this dinette, there is a car seat tether right there. Very important. Yes. Well, Basil, do you know what time it is? It's time for the prime pooping position? No. It's now time for the MSRP. You ready for this? MSRP. This this whole review, since we're starting inside, is going to be thrown off. MSRP on this motorhome here is $241,418. Basil. MSRP. Sale price. Do you see a sale price on our website right now? No. No, because, because the way the RV industry is, we're not advertising sale price anymore on YouTube right now, but we do have the best sale price on these magnitudes in a Basel. If somebody wants to get the best price, tell everybody what to do. Go on uh, Matt's RV Reviews. Hang on, hang on, you ready? You can call, you can text, you can email, and you can FaceTime. Right. 301-906-0962. Or go to Matt's RV Reviews at gmo.com or send me an email at mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. There on the website, you'll see three forms of contact. If you're ready to buy this magnitude or any magnitude, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price. If you're not ready to buy this magnitude, click tab number two. That sends an email to both me and Will and we're here to answer questions for you. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. In Basel, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, What's the one thing they'll always get? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. And Basil, how do people reach you? Um, you can call or text um, phone number 813-956-2124. Basil, your wife's gonna kill you. I know, I know, I just keep doing it, but hey, it br brings money into the house. That's so his matter. That's his personal <laughs> cell number. And yeah. what's your email? Email is uh, bfrancis, F-R-A-N-C-I-S, at generalrv.com. Perfect, and the real exciting part about this unit here, mm -hmm. you can't buy it. This is what's called our floor model. And so this is gonna be here at Tampa yes, for you to see. Yes. So also that magnitude right there, which we did like two or three weeks ago. So if you want a magnitude, I think they got a bounder 35K in now. There's a lot of floor units that you can actually see and touch and feel. Call Basil, make an appointment, and he'll make sure you get your mat cash. Basil, show everybody this kitchen. All right, so this kitchen, um, you've got the solid surface countertops. Yes. I like that you have the um, recessed sink. It's gonna be a uh, dual sink. Yes. But it's recessed, so you can use this as actual counter space if you needed to. You just turn this to the side right here. Um, extra plugs. Hey now, no, that's called a tower of power. Tower of power, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, what I also love about this is that you can cook two different ways. You have the induction um, cooktop, okay. which is really nice. It's more of a, a magnetic uh, cooking system. Yes. And the good thing is if you had, if you put your hand on here after cooking, it will not burn your hand, yes. which is really good. And it also cooks everything evenly. Plus you have your propane, um, propane burners as well so you can still use your propane okay right okay. convection microwave up top which is awesome funny how you say that yes we're gonna bring this up a little later on in the video okay but that's what i love you love it i might not like it i might love it we'll yeah. find out later in the yeah. video so uh convection microwave up top as well so you can um bake up top yes. the other thing too is the reason why a lot of these motorhomes are getting away from having the oven down bottom is because people really want the storage space for pots and pans. Yes, sir. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of storage space for pots and pans in um, many motorhomes. So what they're doing now is making that convection microwave, giving you uh, space for, for storage for those pots and pans and other things for your kitchen as well. Yes. Right? Right um, there. Yep. So going right here. Hey, now, do you know how much a trash can is? $50. No, $8. it's a, it's 104 Basil. You got to watch more videos. $104. Yes. <laughs> you want to do it again? Yeah, no, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Hey, now. $104 crash can. Yeah, yeah, great job, Basil. Right. We got storage right there. Yep. And then the slide out drawers here. Yep. And then a little bit more storage there. More storage and a bunch of remotes. Perfect. Perfect. More storage. 
All right, right here you have your residential um, GE refrigerator. Okay. Uh, with ice maker. Yes. Right, so you don't have to stop at the uh, store and grab a bunch of ice. You actually have ice right here. That Very your, nice. Uh, fridge generates and tons and tons and tons of storage space. Your gallon uh, jugs can also go right here, which is really nice as well. And you have your climate cool for your vegetables and and so forth. Perfect. All right. All right. It's time to check out the bathroom here. Here we go. We have a nice 30 by 36 foot shower. Basil, how tall are you? Um, 5'8". Oh, you're not that much taller than me, but no. still, stay in the shower. Right, here we go. I can spin still, around. I mean, look at that, Basil. You still have like another foot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> getting clean, getting classy right there. Right here, we do have storage above. Mm -hmm. More storage right here. Nice little sink and medicine cabinet area. Here we go, porcelain. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. And then we're going over here into the bedroom. Okay, check this out, tilt up bed. I don't know how I feel about that yet, but it is a nice big king size bed and you need it to tilt up to be able to get the slide out in and out. Very nice and big storage right here. That's weird that there's a second ladder. I wonder what the second ladder would be for. I was just looking the same thing. Because there's no bunks. I bet you they did that by mistake. Storage right here mm -hmm. behind the television. Nice area to maybe fold up clothes, put your storage and stuff there. Nice drawers. No vents in the floor either. I really do like that. And then right up here, we got plenty of storage above. Storage on the side of the bed, like right here. More storage, 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 storage everywhere. And if you need more storage, you got more storage than this. And then Basil, let's check out this cockpit area. Okay. Tell us what's going on up here. All right, so what I really love about the magnitude, uh, let me just flip this up out of the way. What I really love about the magnitude here, um, it actually is very easy to access and get into the cockpit area. Yes, yeah, easy to get in, but very tough to get out. <laughs> yes, de de depending on uh, who you are. But the one thing I really love about this coach is this is a true F550 chassis, right? So what that means is this is not, um, it's not modified really up front. It is a true F550 chassis. So you get the same amount of space that you would if you had a F550 Super Duty. Yes. Right? Uh, it has that, um, I didn't know if you want me to talk about engine size. Yes, yes, it's it, a 6.7 liter power stroke. Yes, 6.7 liter power stroke, uh, 330 horsepower, yep. 825 uh, foot pounds of torque. Basil, you're not even looking at the specs. I got them right <laughs> here, but you already know them. So the good thing is, is that this actual coach can tow a true 10,000 pounds doesn't matter how you load this up, it will tow, tow a two, uh, true 10,000 pounds, which is really nice. And what's well. the horsepower on this? Um, how, horsepower is 330. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So um, the other thing is, if you're familiar with the um, the Ford system, the Ford Sync system is also built into this as well. Okay. So it's something that um, a lot of truck drivers are very familiar with, especially if they already have a Ford um, uh, a Ford SUV or car or whether or whether a truck, whichever one. Yeah. Um, you do have your brake controller already built in, which is really nice because you don't have to really do anything there. Um, what I also love is that that you do have your rear view camera built in. So this is not a camera to look back at your family in the back. Right. It's a rear view camera that actually shows you what's going on behind you. And the best thing is when you are backing up, there is actually a mic built into that camera in the back so that you can actually hear your spouse. If your spouse is yelling at you and say, hey, stop, 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 you can actually hear them saying stop. Yep, yep, for sure. So it causes less, less accidents. And then check this out. Mm -hmm. Right over here, I'm in the passenger seat. We got three cup holders here. And then look at this leg space. This is phenomenal. You don't get this in a traditional class C. You know how big it is and spacious. You got big mirrors right there. And then we do have side cameras as well. Basil, let's take a look at the outside. All right, perfect, let's go. And the rain has stopped. Awesome. So let's get started up here. The model was SV34, but the tip to tip length is 35 feet, nine inches. Yes. What do we got going on out here? So again, I love the really nice um, Ford F550 grill right up front. Uh, gives you that true super duty. The other thing that I really love about this as well, a, a lot of gearheads really love these coaches because of the fact they can get under the hood and 
you know, replace anything if they really wanted to. Work on it themselves. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, going around as well, you do have a, fiber, a molded fiberglass front cap up top as well. Yes, yeah, so what does that mean? It means that there's less uh, likely, you're less likely to have any water intrusion in the front cap as Be well. Because there's no seams in that front cap at all. It's more expensive to do it that way, but again, less likely to get a leak. Absolutely, absolutely. So coming over on this side here, of course you have these big mirrors. The other thing that I really love about this, which we want to point out, Matt, is that when you're stepping out of a vehicle like this, you want to be able to have a bigger step to step out. Yes. Right? So, go ahead, Matt. So, I just want to turn you the want to turn it off. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're stepping out, you want to make sure that you know it, it doesn't matter what age you are. You definitely don't want to have a small ledge to step out of. You want to step out and be able to get out of the the RV comfortably. Yes, right? yes. Right. So that's what I really love about this. The other thing too is you have your cameras right here. Your side view cameras got you a nice field of vision. Um, other thing, your storage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So storage on this motorhome is really nice and big right here. It does pass through as well. It does not pass through. It's, it's okay. Fine, but you have space to put uh, tables or chairs and stuff like that right there. Yeah, no, it's a big storage. It almost, it looks like it passes through, but it doesn't. So the other thing too about this uh, material that's on the inside, this is called rotocast. What's great about that is also water resistant. So if you know, you, 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 you're hiking or whatever it might be and you come in and you just put your shoes in after you hose them down, you don't have to worry about the water doing any damage to that material on the right, inside. Right, no carpet, I love that. Real quick, yep. look at these tires, Basil. They're the Continentals. Continentals. They're 225-70R, 19.5 with your shiny rims. Yes. Keep on going, brother. All right, so right here underneath the armless awning with the built-in wind sensor. Yes. Awesome. Uh, you do have your um, outdoor TV. You have your propane tank as well. And then Basil, go like this, bing. Nope, other side. And you got a bing. bing. That's all your specs, lengths, tank sizes about this motorhome right here. Perfect. Nice. Also something I want to mention, those are slam latch doors, not the little twisty doors. And we have frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. So another thing too, and what I love about the slam latch doors, and a lot of customers say that they really like this, is that those doors open sideways. Yes! So you're, you're, it's easier to be able to get into that um, storage space instead of having to lift it up and bend underneath. Correct, 100% agree. So over here, one of the biggest features about this motorhome, I'd say the biggest. Yes, is that outdoor kitchen. Yes. So that outdoor kitchen is really nice as well. You do get your um, your 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 fridge, outdoor refrigerator for adult refreshments. Hot Point, the dumbest name for a refrigerator I've ever heard. Yes. And hot Point. Yes. I don't want a Hot Point. I want a Cold Point. I know. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure, but hey, they're 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 in the market. Yes, we got a little bit of storage right there, a light, and then check this out: a sink that's actually plumbed through. Love that. So one of the things, another thing that I'm thinking of as well is that Matt, there's a lot of customers that think, hey, I want a, um, you know, a, a, a grill or something like that yeah. on, on the outside in that outdoor kitchen. So we have a lot of customers that do actually own motorhomes and they and, and, and RVs or travel trailers, whichever it might be, and they don't necessarily like that outdoor grill. They want to carry their own. So what's great about that is that you do have a propane quick connect right here where you can actually bring your own grill hook up to that and you're you're good. Hashtag BYOG. <laughs> hey, we just created something. Exactly. Hashtag BYOG. We're gonna run with it. We're gonna yes. run with it. Yes. And then, here's your storage space to bring that grill, and it does pass all the way through to the other side, which is awesome as well. Now that one's pass through. Yes. And then right here, Basil, this is what we call potable water. Potable. <laughs> all right. Potable. Potable. Yes. <laughs> and then coming around the back, this is what we call a fiberglass rear cap. Again, kind of like the front, it folds over. It's not that little piece of trim. It's a lot more expensive to do it this way. Um, here's your ladder that goes up to the roof as well. It, yep. is, it is wet um, um, on the ladder, so Matt, do not go up on top of that. Basil, <laughs> this is America. And even if it's wet, this is what we do. It does have, first, 10,000 pound hitch that Basil explained. Yep. Motorhome can tow 10,000 pounds. Your backup camera's right there, and it is a one-piece TPO roof. Basil, let's go up there and take a look. Here we go now. Andrea, I told him not to. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice, wet, one-piece TPO roof. 
We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there's your Max Air Fan 360 digital antenna. And look, it already has a solar panel for solar on the roof. Be careful, Matt. <laughs> Here we go now. Oh, great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's taking his fat ass up on the roof in the rain to show you what features the roof has to offer? None. <laughs> Nobody. Continue, Basil. All right. So over here is the other side of your passenger storage as well. Um, Very nice. You've got your um, 50 amp hookup right here, hookup for your TV. Right in there is going to be your diesel. Um, this is a Super C, so it does have actual, uh, it does carry diesel gas. Um, you do have some more storage right here, so wow. tons of storage on the outside of this motorhome. And again, like I said, open sideways. Um, of course, right here it makes sense because of the slide. And this is a full wall slide, which is really great as well. Under I mean, here, you have your city water connection, all, all your hookups right here as well, and uh, your dump uh, station right here. Outdoor shower. Um, right up top, tankless hot water heater. Which yes, is sir. Really, which is really awesome because that on-demand hot water, I mean... It's on you, demand. You know, Matt likes to take really long showers. I don't. I'm you know, in and out. He, he likes to take... Don't listen to him. He likes <laughs> to take really long showers, wash his hair, sing about four or five different songs. So, yes. Yeah, Andrea goes in after and then, hey, she's not going to have any hot water. She's going to be mad at Matt. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Underneath here, um, here you go. You got your 6,000 quiet diesel generator by Cummins. Yep. The other side more storage as well crazy right? crazy well basil that's it that's the review we did it kind of crazy and backwards now before everybody leaves it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it basil what do we do first the three things you like about the motorhome no, let's do dislikes first. Dislike. I'll, I'll do the dislikes okay. and then you do the likes. Three, the three things you dislike, go ahead. Okay. Did we mention this was four by four? We did. Okay. Come on in. First thing I dislike about this motorhome, okay? As Basil said, it's very easy to get in. It's called gravity, okay? <laughs> You're just gonna fall in. To get out, look at this. Listen guys, I'm fat athletic, okay? But look, for me to come out, look at this. You know what I'm saying? That's not fun. The transfer port point from the cab to the motorhome really sucks. With that said, is it a big deal to open the door and come through this way? No, not at all. It's just one of my dislikes. That's number one. Number two, Basil said he liked this. I like induction too. I like the propane cooktop. I don't care. I don't like how there's, gives you both options. Because now, if you do, if you are a big cooker, you have to carry your induction pot and your propane pot. You have to carry two different types of pots. I don't like that. Keep it all induction or keep it all propane. Either way, it works for me. So that's number two in the basil. Do you have a dislike? Oh, I got a third dislike if you don't. I don't, I don't. What a good salesman. <laughs> third dislike right here is I do not like this tilt-up bed. Again, to get a king size bed, it has to do it. To have this nice full wall slide, you gotta get it. And when it is up, you do get the space. But the way Andre and I like to camp, she likes to lay back in the bed while I'm driving down the road, even though it's not legal. That's the way we do it. And so the fact that the bed has to come down. But with that said, it is a lot better than the fold up bed. I will say that. Absolutely. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Basil, now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. So go fun, first. Funny enough, I actually do like this bed. <laughs> oh, is it because I mentioned the stove? No, no. no. So talk I, to me. Talk I to me. I actually do like this bed. Uh, a long time ago, I did work in the furniture industry, and I did, um, you know, sell mattresses as well. So one of the biggest things about this bed tilting up, not not to mention that you do get the extra space and you do get a true a, a nice king size bed. The other thing is, is that you can actually stop this bed in a um, slightly elevated position. 
helps with acid reflux, helps with snoring, stuff like that. So having that feature in a motorhome like this is actually really nice as well. Man, Basil, I'd buy a mattress from you any day of the week. <laughs> that is number one. So uh, number, no, number two. Number two, I do actually really like this big shower. Yes. So what's really great about this is that you, you get into some motorhomes and the shower is just so tiny and you don't have space. Right. right. Now, I'm, I'm not the I'm not the biggest individual, but I, I do kind of have broader shoulders and you know, you definitely want to be able to move and take a shower and be comfortable as well. So that's really nice. About not this. only that, I'm going to combo with just the whole space of the bathroom. Even though this is a super seat, this is considered a small super seat. Yes. So to ha still have a big bathroom. And I think what makes it nice is the pocket doors that we didn't mention. Yes. It's just a clean look, organized, and everything's great about it. Yes. So that's two. And then Basil, we're going outside for number three. All right. Let's uh, shut this bad boy off. This is the multiplex wiring system. Very nice. I really like that. Oops, sorry, Basil. Number three, we're gonna do a double combo. Do you know why, Basil? Why, man? America, that's why. <laughs> One, love the slam latch doors. And as Basil said, the way they opened is awesome. But not only that, number two is I love this outside kitchen. So many times on motorhomes, Class C's, Class A's, Super C's, you don't get outside kitchens. And when you do get an outside kitchen, it's on a bunkhouse motorhome. The fact that they give you this, this is camping. The hot point refrigerator, a plumb through sink, and a hashtag BYOG, bring your own grill. That's a thing now, Basil. That's how it works. We're running with it. Yeah, we're running with it. But the fact that you actually have an outside kitchen is super awesome and nice. Well, Basil, that's it. That's the review. Thank you for coming out in the rain and joining me today. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. Make sure you guys get your mat cash and make sure if you guys come to the Tampa store and you want to work with Basil, Ask for Basil, call Basil ahead of time, and he will help get you that mat cash form. If you want to see other Super C Motorhomes that competes with this, we're going to put its competitors right there and there. Basil, is there anything you want to say? No, I just thank you, America, for having me again. I'm happy to be able to show you this magnitude. This magnitude has been a really hot seller for us as well. Um, we have it in multiple floor plans. If this floor plan is not necessarily right for you, uh, get with me. I'll find the right floor plan that works for your family uh, because I think they have, what, four, four or five floor plans? Yes, sir. Right? So there's a, a, quite a few different floor plans. But again, being able to get this at the price point with the 4x4, four four, um, full body paint comes standard on this coach as well. Um, just reach out to me if you have any questions. Now, I mean, we're looking at Super C right here. You already know that I talk about Class C's all the time. But class C's, Class B's, Class A's. Anyone that you're looking at, diesels, no matter what, I'm here to help you guys. Perfect. Thank you so much, Basil, for helping us out today. And Basil, we'll see you next time.